22 of trusty hogs oh goodness so cute yeah it's so great that we're still doing the snorting piglets are being born piglets up and down the country born. little baby huggies welcome. little babes welcome <laughs> um so this is a podcast where we endeavor to help our listeners yes. with their problems they write in we solve it do we sometimes make it worse no sure. do we actively create new problems absolutely no. do we ever give any good advice yes, rarely all the time the point is in the meantime we distract you with the perfection of our own lives because we're real givers here i love that we're still on the same page with this right it's yes so nice. <laughs> it's like we're hosting two different podcasts alongside each other welcome to trusty hearts yes. <laughs> to the fog step for the trusty hogs yeah you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them or maybe they won't and that's your problem they'll have guests Trusty hogs, trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. Well, so good. tell me, tell me about your springtime. I mean, you're I'm thriving a, this week. So. I am thriving this week. Well, I'm I'm at Soho Theatre. I'm in the midst of a two week run downstairs <gasps> with my new show. It's Yassies. called This Isn't For You, but it is for you, and I would like you to attend. There are still tickets left for next week. It's a magical show. Um, thank you. That's really good. You came on the first night. I came on the first night. I also saw it twice in previews. She's a very supportive so if friend. if anything, I'm lip syncing at this point. Yes, I know. <laughs> Sing along you say the words. And then the lesbian left me. Um, so <laughs> it's not a hard chorus. It's the same one every week. Jamila Jamil. Is that post <laughs> No, I'm not giving away too much there. It's not a spoiler. No, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but she was there in the crowd. No. <laughs> if only. If only. I'm going to tell her there's a bit of better in it, actually. Maybe she'll come. Um, <gasps> does but, she live here? No. No, she lives in LA. Of course think, she does. The two. I don't know. She has such a beautiful dog. Do and you feel boyfriend. like she's someone who would end up on The Real Housewives? Oh, God. No, I think she's like, she's about to do, a, she's in a Marvel film. Yeah, but like, you know, Kyle was in Scream. Yeah, I think like she's actually in the Marvel film, though. <gasps> Sorry. Oh my God, that was Cassie. That was Cassie. And she like produces James Blake's music and stuff. She's got a lot going on. James Blake, remind me. Her boyfriend. The, the, he sings sad songs. Oh, I love sad songs. Yeah, so she like co-writes and produces. So. Oh my God, good for her. A lot of caps, this lady. She's very She's cool. She's busy. So yeah, there's that. So I'm at Soho and there are tickets left, essentially. Yes. And I do talk about Jamila Jamil amongst other things. Oh, and we forgot to say, we have an amazing guest today. <gasps> I love her so much. She's so beautiful. She's so great. She is an angel. And she has such a great voice. Kima Bob's going to be here. Yeah. It's so exciting. Oh, my God. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, my God. Stop. Is that your sneeze? Yeah, I sneezed. Fuck off. <laughs> that, I have never been more angry in my life. <laughs> that, that is, is not real. Is that real? No. You went... Like a, like yeah. Tinkerbell sneezing. Like but an you, anime schoolgirl. But you know when what? When I sneeze, I usually fart at the same time out of no. pressure on my body. <laughs> but you know the noises people make during sneezes, they're so performative, right? You don't need to make they're all not, that noise. My dad sneezes like... <gasps> but all dads, he sounds like a seal clapping. But like, all dads do that and it's not necessary. So that, that for you, you're done now. That's as much as it takes. Literally nothing came out your nose. There's no need. Do you know what I mean? There's just no need. When you get, do you ever get hay fever or allergic? Yeah. Yeah. Are you like a tap then? What do you mean? Like I used to, so I had really bad hay fever at school. I've grown out of it, but I used to be on what we call the, I called it the trilogy, which meant that I had like tablets, nose spray and eye drops. Oh yeah. I don't have eye drops, but the rest, yes. And um, I would like always be known as like the wet sleeve girl because like, <laughs> I never had tissues, but it was me and my friend Sophia Ward, who's the year below me, but she always had like bad hay fever as well. And we just got to suddenly be damp. That's profoundly from, like, disgusting. I know it was weird because like we weren't like, I mean, she was hot, but like I wasn't like, it was like, oh, here comes wet sleep, Helen. That's really gross. And I was I, just always damp. I was more of the kind of eight-year-old who would have had a small packet of, miniature packet of individualized t tissues. Yeah, I'd get tissues, kidding. then my yogurt would spill on it or something, or my froob. Oh, wow. We would not have been friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think we would have horrendous. admired each other from a distance. I don't think that's true. I think I would have been jealous of like how good your pencil case was. I, I imagine you had a really good pencil case, like really neatly kept. I, actually, I had a groovy chick um, pencil case, a tin one. Oh my God. Yeah. For anyone who's not loved, watching love, on YouTube, I'm wearing a groovy chick t-shirt. That's I'm crazy. Really and adorable. Yeah, absolutely. Oh but yeah, God. so no, I would have asked that you didn't touch my things. But um, Did you always have sharpened pencils? 
Well, yes, in that I was ready for school. You know, every now and again I shop in my crayons at home and it feels like I've like I'm just thriving. Your crayons as opposed to your yeah. colouring pencils? My colouring pencils there and my crayons. Oh, you 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 pair your your crayons. They're in a mug. That doesn't feel right. They're in a mug on my desk. I hate the smell of crayons. Next to my um Edinburgh Comedy Award nominee. Oh, for yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, they keep falling off the desk because of the slant, but still, like they're there, they're there. Right, so come on, I want to hear more. So you're doing yeah, Soho, so but you're also still learning to drive. Oh my god! So actually, do we I'm, owe the people an update? Yeah, so I'm actually using this opportunity of because I only have Soho on. I yeah, just yeah, yeah. Stuff in. I'm driving every day. Oh, amazing. And um, and also uh, I'm alone, so I needed to be out of the house. So I Totes. just thought I'd book it in every day. Yeah, no, 100%. I can't afford it, but this lady keeps me company. <laughs> anyway, go please on. sign up for our Patreon. No, I call my mom. <laughs> and um, but yeah, no, I'm real bad. And um, and the second I don't drive, like pretty much every day, I forget everything I've learned. And I it seems to be getting more nervous. But but the, the reason that's because that, it's getting close to the test. No? Yeah, it's yeah, it is. It really is. And I don't know the things to. Do. Also, how are men not a, a listed hazard? I'm serious. I'm the most dangerous people on the road of anything. Not huge vehicles, not motorcycles, not... I heard like, it was push bike. It's men. It is men. They walk in the road. They open their doors into the road. They break the rules of the road. By the way, which seems to be just a suggestion to people who... I thought the rules of the road were you don't talk about the rules of the road. I thought they were fucking follow the rules. Nobody follows the rules. Well, the it's rules a- are look both ways. What's that song? If you're walking down the street... Mind your head and watch your feet. If you don't stay alert, come on, guys, you could end up getting hurt. You've got to stop and think, and you'll be king of the road. Okay, well, here's the Did problem. Did anyone else not learn how to these cross the men, road with the headshot? These men don't stop, they don't think, but they do think they're kings of the road. Yeah. It's fucking infuriating. <laughs> and the big headshot. And the best thing is, my driving instructor, she just agrees with me, so she's just like. Whenever I something's come, instead of saying, she'll usually say like mini roundabout, roundabout. Like she'll name the hazard, and I just goes man, <laughs> <gasps> and it's so great. She's amazing. But here's the reason that I keep going back to her, and I think I might just continue driving lessons even if okay. I pass my test. Probably won't. Um, is for company. <laughs> no, for well, yes, and I'm gonna do pass plus because for that. But um, fine, fine. Mainly because my driving instructor has this unique capacity to leave every lesson on a cliffhanger. She has so much going I on in her life. I remember you telling me this. She has so much going on in her life. There's so much drama. So every time, I was just, but she'll wait till just the end of the last like 20 seconds. She'll be like, anyway, did I tell you, I think one of my kids is doing drugs now. <gasps> and I'm like, I will book 10 more lessons now. <laughs> Are you like, serious? Like yeah, that much of a cliffhanger? That much of a cliffhanger. It's crazy. Do you ever think that maybe you're the cliffhanger story for um, someone else? Like another lesson that she picks up and goes, anyway, this other client of mine, she's a lesbian and she, <laughs> we don't have time. Do you reckon that's how it works? Like everyone's a cliffhanger for each other? I she's hope She's a smart so. businesswoman. Oh yeah. my God, she's a genius. I'm so, every single time I'm like, gotta get back in that car. Should I don't want to drive, but I do want to hear the story. Try and end each episode on a cliffhanger. Um, we never do that. Don't you think we that usually our- end on a fight? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I, but I feel like our lives are dysfunctional enough that if you're if you're listening to this, it's because you want us to either thrive or enjoy us car crashing. And okay. so, like, well, that's when I picked up the machete and the- Sunil said, "No, we don't have time this week." Like stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I looked down and my clit wasn't there. <laughs> We don't have time no, this that's, week. That's for the extras always, Helen. Okay. We talk about this. Your sex life goes in the extras. Um, so yeah, um, she's great. And I'm, I'm really hoping I pass the test, but I probably won't because I keep spending way too much money on this woman. And, and that's um, when Strictly Come Dancing called Catherine. <gasps> a bitch. <laughs> I, I think I have a vested interest in you not passing your test, actually. Excuse Ooh. me? Yeah. Well, because what? Uh, whenever I give other comedians lear, that's so true. They always say, oh, you've got a really clean car. I think you might have the cleanest car in comedy. But <laughs> if you pass your test, that would definitely not be. You will have the cleanest car in comedy. Not oh, if I get so in Catherine's funny. car every other day. I was yeah. just about to say, um, that would never happen. What I was about to say, Andrew, is that that's not a worry you have to have. Because genuinely, I would never give a comedian a lift. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. You wouldn't let me like jump in. 
in no, for a bit? No, no. Not even to get to Legoland for my birthday. It's my birthday this with month. Wet They're not wave anymore. Like wave anymore. They're not wet anymore. Touch them. Helen, I've seen you sneeze apple into your own eyelashes. <laughs> we have that that was a rough episode for you're me. Not yeah. That was a my, tough time. You're never getting in a car if I own one. But it, hay fever season is starting now. No, I won't be picking you up. I will not be picking you, you up. How about only if you come and get me and if I'm going <coughs> with my throat, you can say no. It's a no from the outset. I'm good in a car. It feels like a no. I, I, I'm good at not singing now when I'm told not to sing. I think that's the thing is I'll be such a nervous driver to begin with. I don't need your energy. What energy? Um, Loving support? Loud. <laughs> and um, distracting and funny, but I, I need to focus. Because of men? Because of the danger of men. How about if I walk in front of the car saying, no men, please, <laughs> and then you drive along after me? I would quite like that. That sounds nice. How clean is your car though, Andrew? Because it's clean, but like, you, like you're in it all the time. Like there must be like a couple of. Well, no, because every time I stop or if I stop for pets or anything, I just do a little gather round of all the rubbish and I put it in the bin. Yes, Andrew. Why is the rubbish in there? Um, because I've been eating McDonald's on the road or something. You idiot. eat in your car? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Sorry, I thought we were going to have a fair contest. Fuck off. What? If you eat in your car, my car is obviously going to be cleaner than yours. I, I get it. You're never like... going to eat in your car. No, it's for driving. I don't eat in my bed. Oh, That's for sleeping. You have to keep snacks in the car. How do you get stuck yeah. in traffic in the middle of the night? The amount of time, come on, we're all comedians. The amount of time okay, you're coming like back a from a gig bar. out of town and there's a million traffic diversions. But not a McDonald's, that stinks. Um, actually, much, it's, have... and it's not always, the most common thing actually in terms of rubbish is like bottles of drink or cans of drink. Okay. Non-alcoholic fair drink. Enough. Bottles of piss as well for when you get stuck, no, am I right? No, I don't. No. Oh, no, 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 no. What I do is I pull over, because <laughs> I'm normally in the countryside driving back to Bournemouth. Yeah. I pull over in the middle of the night and I have a little roadside wee and I look up at the stars because there's no light pollution. I... Fucking love that. Yeah, it's really nice. There's something about like a scenic outdoor piss, which just like. I don't think men should piss in public. It's not public, it's the countryside. Yeah, the countryside doesn't. Could care. a person walk along that street? No, no, it's literally like a country road. But a woman could be driving along it and then see you with your. I tickets. piss between cars I mean, all the time in London. What? Well, between cars? When you get caught short, you know, when you're like really no. late at night and you're drunk and you're like, oh, but, but I piss between a car. What are you talking about? You know, when you're like. Because when a woman pisses between cars, no, one, she's in, she's invisible. Hello. That's wow. Is this like? Don't your, make this a thing. Is this, this like th your ca calories don't count on a train? I thing? once, I once saw a woman in London Bridge pissing as she walked down the street. She squatted down, didn't have any pants on, with a little skirt, and pissed while she duck walked and then carried <gasps> on. I have never had more respect for a woman in my life. No. It was incredible. Have you? So wait, right. Let's say you're in central <laughs> London. I don't public. It's three in the morning. I don't wee in public. No. Why would I be out that late? Uh, I don't know. Rave. <laughs> <laughs> You're out. You got confused and ended up at a rave. That doesn't sound like me. You get. You get up really early for a Pilates class. Okay. With some right. okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> no, I still would never be. That's too early and too late. Okay. That's sleeping time. Okay, but I'm Damn out and I'm really drunk. Yeah. And I'm at, let's let's make this realistic. It's one a.m. So the okay. craziest I've ever been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at a house party of a person whose home I know to be clean. Yes. But I've started to walk home. Yep. So let's say you piss before you leave, but the journey, like the amount that's in your bladder and you've broken the seal, you need to piss again. So I used to, right, this is when I used to live in like Streatham slash Ballon, mm -hmm. the year 2012, the yeah. Olympics are on. We're having a magical time. Yeah. I'm working in a bar in central London and I would leave it and I'd always need to have like a piss on the way home. Right. So I'd take the bus, which would go to Ballum yeah. or Streatham and I'd have to walk 15 minutes to mm -hmm. get to where I needed to mm -hmm. be. Inevitably would need to piss on mm -hmm. that journey. So I had a choice, either graveyard or common. W wow. What? And I'd have to alleviate my bladder. 15 minutes. But it wasn't like on the street. It was like... For it was 15 minutes, not, not an hour, yeah. not two hours, 15 minutes. So I really struggle with the the Olympic sport of holding in piss whilst walking. Here's what I would say. So I am currently in a treatment for my pelvis. Yes. And um, part of the problem has apparently been born from my capacity to hold which I learned because of my OCD. So I could not use public bathrooms for my for a lot of the time and I So you can hold it in. I would I struggle to use like like pl plain toilets, train toilets, those kinds of things. Yeah, so yeah. I have a masterful capacity to hold, but I've actually done some damage. And um and so this is not pro 
peeing on streets, but like 15 minutes to me is laughable. I have gone like 15 hours if I needed to. I could go if I had to. It's not right, but I could. And it's like, I'm like a mind over matter. I am ter- when I was terrified, maybe not 15 hours, but I could, certainly could have gone five hours. Insane. Um, 15 minutes and I'm like, better go. Because otherwise I'm fine because I've got a stride going on. No, the no, piss no. is held into the stride. But that moment when you've got to stop at your door to get your keys out, so you tangle your legs, you get the key in, and then somehow I've got to untangle my legs to enter the house, oh but God. not piss at the oh same God. time. I will and think- I'd rather piss on the street than piss myself. Call me mad. Call me mad if you will. Those aren't the only choices. You're at, no. your, you're at your front door. Just go inside. Street or self. Yeah, but how, how am I going to make up? This way I lived, it was like you'd go in, you had to go up a flight of stairs to then get up to the bathroom. 12 Pissing more the steps. whole way. <gasps> no. Just get up there. No, I've got, because I'm such a little lady, I've got such a little bladder. Just a tiny little baby bird bladder. Anyway, I can hold is what I'm saying to you. And I would I never publicly pee. Because I, I don't think anybody should. I actually find it grotesque. And I think there should be more public loos available. Let's say it's raining. And it's really good for the earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for the soil. Let's say it's raining and you are uphill from the soil that needs we. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen... So I know Shiwi was like a big thing for ages. But there's this new invention for women to piss at festivals where you it's just... It's called a bathroom? It's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's like a little, like like a horse's saddle. And you sit on it and you just sort of like sit on it. You don't have to have your arms up, but I probably would. What? And you just sort of like piss into it, sort of like a urinal, and then you just stand up and that's it. But like I saw an image for it. I have to find it. Where's the loo roll holder on this device? I, this is the thing. I can't see a loo roll holder, so I'm assuming you take your own like wipey with you. I mean, I guess I always have those on. Like a wet wipe. Oh, no. no. I don't like the sensation or of a wet wipe your on a sleeve. Wipe. No, no. Helen. <laughs> no, I thought it would be a good callback, but no, it no. wasn't. It was, really it was actually really upset. Yeah. You know, when you're like, oh, because we were like coming up with our hours, you're doing an hour at the moment. Like, you I know, don't need everything that. Everything needs callback. So I'm I was good. trying to get into that I'm headspace, and it's okay. I don't oh. like a, um, I don't like the sensation of a wet wipe. You know, when you get like those, like. All I'm saying is at some point you're going to piss on the side of a road because you're driving along and you're going to need it. Yeah. And when that happens, I want you to FaceTime me. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Don't FaceTime me, but I would like to know. I don't think I I would will. like to be FaceTimed. I, don't, I think I'll just go to a services. <gasps> Oh no! You, you can't. They're not always there, and Service you find anymore. one. And so, we you know when you the you know when the Why promise are you making of making me scared of driving. No, when the promise of the toilet is close, your bladder starts going. That's it's true. time. That is true. So you'll drive up thinking, oh, there'll be a toilet here, and that says out of order. But your body's already been like, but we've started the process. Like emotionally, I've let go of this urine. I'm not gonna get. Why are you scaring me from driving? I'm already scared enough. I'm not scaring you. There's from driving. the men. There's the fact scared. that you're driving a murder machine. There's the fact that I might forget how to drive. There's the roads. There's the other drivers. And now you're t- making me scared of like my incapacity to hold my own Wii while I'm doing all of this. I'm not making you scared. I'm just saying have a bottle. Have a jar. A jar, no, a jar in the car. Christ. Or a bottle, actually. I've never... I've never. I once pissed a in a... A jar would be better than a, than a bottle. I pissed in a 1.5 litre bottle of Limca. Um, in oh, 2010, is that, is that a yeah, nozzle? yeah. How are you getting your? I was in traveling there? around India, needed a piss. Question: How are you aiming into that, and not getting it on your hand? Wait for this. You're all gonna freak out. It was fucking genius. My friend Jazz Berry, she's a fucking genius. Can you spray a little. Same I, time, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a dribbler. My labia oh. like pushes it over to. Yeah. yeah, like we've all got different angles. That worked for us. We can't all aim with a dick, oh, okay? Oh, I was on a bus and I was gonna like I was like I was past the point of needing it. Like I was in, yeah. I was starting to panic. Yeah. And you know when you start sweating yeah. and you can't focus because yeah. you're like, I'm in dire straits here. Yeah. Um so my friend, we had this like bottle, we just finished it, which is probably why I needed to pee. It's like a sugary <laughs> lemon drink. <laughs> Four point five liters of lemonade. <laughs> I guess I need to go. Um had nail scissors in our bags so we were like backpacking around she cut the can i use this to demonstrate yeah can i please use the water you're drinking yeah, now so picture you, that my you urine YouTube for trust cut us. around the top of oh, it that's smart. flipped it over <gasps> so i was pissing into a funnel, funnel into the bottle oh fuck she's smart smart very smart. jasmine berry get married this year that is oh, congrats smart. to that guy that congrats is... <laughs> yeah he's with a bloody MacGyver. yeah he's crushed it he's crushed that's it that's impressive she's an absolute babe I'm so happy wow. for her. So but I'm, how good is that? A homemade shiwi. It's incredible. But oh. this is before the shiwi. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, she should have patented it. Yeah, we would, we tried to get on Dragon's Den, but they were having absolutely Bit none of, of it. <laughs> um, so on that note, 
Dragon we. Let's bring on our guest. What a, what a podcast no, episode. I don't think we've ever had a normal introduction to a guest. You, um, you think that was? N- no, that's no, what okay. I'm saying. <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah. you think I nailed it? <laughs> next week, <laughs> next week. Who do we have on next week? Oh, oh I know. Yeah. yeah, we'll do normal one. We'll do normal one. Comedian extraordinaire, and presumably, she weighs, it's... Puma Bob! I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has given us a five star rating and review so far on Whoop. iTunes, who has commented and liked on our videos on YouTube. It makes such a difference massive. because we are a baby podcast. We are producing it ourselves and we really appreciate it. And we would ask you, if you haven't done it already, please do just chuck out some likes. It makes a massive difference to us and being able to keep doing it. Only five star reviews, please. We've got some gorgeous ones. I love reading them. <laughs> Helen let's hates not, let's, the one let's bad just, one. Let's forget about the one bad one. <laughs> let's forget about it. Please keep telling us that you love the oinks. It makes my world feel complete. I hate and it. And what we found really works is if you do really enjoy the podcast and you're not able to support us in any other way, supporting us by listening is amazing. And please tell five friends and family members about it this week. And it makes such a huge difference. Massive. And all, as does sharing our videos on Twitter or Instagram, it makes such a big difference please and thank you thank you hello welcome to our I guest answer your question and i so want to do a professional intro for Catherine as well welcome to our guest it's keeper bob i'm seeing a play tonight wow i know I it's called glow and it's at the royal court theater in south kensington on sloan square isn't wow. that the name of that wrestling show that's what i was gonna say Mike okay it's i don't think it's the wrestling show my friend's in it and i think she gets beaten up by a guy in the play Sounds then like i hope it's a wrestling show, show. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going through a theatre phase. You won't know about this. I love that. This is new. She's I'm called seeing, second play. I'm seeing <laughs> Amdram next week. I'm seeing Glow and I'm seeing... Does Amdram count as... Uh, yes. Yep. And I'm seeing Wuthering Heights. What is A physical theatre. Amateur, Amateur dramatics. dramatics. That's what it's called. Don't tell me you've never been to Amdram in the UK. I've never been to Amdram <gasps> anywhere. Oh, oh my God. Okay, it's my favourite thing of all time. It's a been, je- sorry, have you ever been to at least a bad improv show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, same energy. But they've oh, rehearsed. Higher stakes. Great. Yes. Great. It's what I was oh. in Amdram when I was younger. I did a yeah. Amdram production of... Uh, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, the Farnham Shakespeare Company. I played <laughs> Helena. Love it. it was love incredible. It. Incredible. I fucking love it. Cause it's always like, so the man who directed it once was like a background artist at the RSC. So everyone was like, he's proper. Yeah. Wow. And then everyone it's else was like, I like plumbers. Amazing. And it's incredible. And they do, they like go for big productions. Like they don't shy away from like Shakespeare. Amazing. One of my favorite things in the world to do in Edinburgh, whenever I feel like in a real rush, mm. like mm. I wasted all my money. Like it's all too mm-hmm. much. Like the PR mm. is just, just a constant uphill battle like mm. comedy's not for me i go see a really serious student play yeah in edinburgh yeah. and Ooh. honestly it lifts my spirit you can always can. find if you look up rwandan genocide oh, in yes, the brochure yes. you and can always like, ah, find an all white group doing rwandan They're, genocide yeah. and it's so yeah. fucking brilliant so my first play because uh, i i started doing theater towards the end of my high school life and it's actually what i studied in college which was weird um <laughs> but in my first play, it was called Addict. It was directed by a student. Amazing. Um, <laughs> yes. And I yes. played a PCP addict named <gasps> Janice. And Janice. she died. Um, she oh, died goodness. because she was in the hospital and she thought that there were rats chewing out her eyeballs. So she stabbed that herself in the me. eyes. Oh! Yes. This is so yes. epic. Yeah. With knitting needles. Oh. Um, I was probably needles? 16. 16 is the perfect age to take on that subject matter. Oh, definitely. Because oh, yeah. you just get PCP at that age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and mime knew, <laughs> I had to mime it. So I'm like miming. Like I'm in the hospital. I'm like, no, these rats. And then I'm just like... <laughs> <gasps> um, okay, this is worth watching yeah. on immediate, YouTube already. I'd say yeah. go on to YouTube, yeah. Immediate death because you put knitting so needles in your eyes, not blindness. Yeah. No, no, death. no, die. I died yeah. because I just, I, you You went so far like, back, yeah. 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 <laughs> Crazy. So, was um, that was you, my first role. So you haven't watched it, but you have partaken in Amdram. It's yeah, just, yeah. Wow, what a revelation. But you just didn't even know what it was Amdram. Oh, but it felt so Dram Dram. Can oh. I tell you that I'm shocked because you seem too cool for Amdram? <gasps> that means that's never a feeling I've had about you. But it feels like so much. <laughs> okay, good. You. It does. It does um, feel like no. not right. But what we what we know about this world is um, wait, no wait. one's too cool for anything. 
You're right. You're and right. no one's ever too cool for Amdram. Where did that come from? Well, uh, that hurt her. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. That was difficult yeah. for me to hear. I'm willing to bet there were socially functioning teenagers in your area who didn't do mm. Amdram. Mm. No. Mm. No. If they weren't in uh, the fleet mm, players, yeah, they were nothing as far as I was concerned. Nice. Yeah. You've got to be performing. And I imagine yeah. it was reciprocal. Like they thought, tread on the boards. My <laughs> mum, obviously, like, so with the before, she ran an illegal drama school from our living room mm. and she would take on like big stimuluses, but she wouldn't do it like classical. So we did Titanic once, but we played the ship. Nice. Like stuff nice. like that. Nice. <laughs> My Stunning. friend Anna, who I stayed with recently, she remembers we played um, The Cycle Life of Wheat. Wow. Once oh for a show. God. And she played a corn of wheat and apparently my mum yelled at her until she cried because she wasn't playing wheat correctly. And then well, we'd and then like so six of us would make the combine harvester. There's so many I ways. I think Anna Grant was doing like Yeah. Whereas yeah, yeah. I was more like Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movement, the movement mm-hmm. of weird. And also you embodying it. Yourself. Embodying yeah. it. Like be I weird. felt like I'd be go weird. up to celiacs and be like, run! Like yeah. it was you like I was it. in it. You gotta mm-hmm. it. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, Kim Bob, what have you been up to other than oh. Amdram? How oh. are you? How is your new oh. year starting? How's the how's the year treating you now that we get oh. into spring? My yeah. Mm-hmm. Um it's been a juicy little year. I took like several months off of life as I know it in London and I went <laughs> to Texas where my family's from to delve into uh childhood trauma that was so fun. Fun choice to start a new year though, yeah. I respect it. That, that was the subject of the flight, like you on the plane, like let's delve. Let's go, let's go, Were baby. You? Basically I was like, I haven't seen my like grandmas in a long time. I love them so much, so cute old ladies. Yeah. Um, and at the same time I was like, I gotta dig into what the fuck is up with my parents because I'm like in order to like heal yourself sometimes it's helpful to have like that larger context of what these people have gone through and you know and be like hey this is what you put me through to the point where I wrote my dad a letter yeah I wrote my dad a letter because I didn't want to mince my words you couldn't you queer eyed yourself yeah yeah oh fully and they were in Texas this season this all makes sense it was you said mince and then I thought quince but no you queer eyed yourself I queer eyed myself well I am uh, I am my own Karamo I also have acted as my own Jonathan I will not be my own Anthony I'm not making any food. No. Um, <laughs> and soon I'll be my own Bobby because I'm looking for a flat. Love um, that. And I've been my own Tam France as well. But I, I wrote my dad a letter and I was like, I'm going to tell him how his actions over my lifetime have made me feel. And I read it to him. <gasps> I well, typed it Oh up. my God, this is I amazing. Who him. actually does this? This is brilliant. It was, oh, it was so good. It was Question, so good. Only negatives or some positives in there too? Uh, b- predominantly negative. Okay. Predominantly negative. He's not done a great job. And okay. I read it to him. And <laughs> at the end, right. I go, I go, so that's so that's how I feel. And he just goes, um, well, that's pretty bad. And I was like, yeah, man. And then he said, uh, not I'm sorry. He didn't apologize. <laughs> he didn't apologize. Did you know that, though, when you were reading out? Were you, like, prepared for the lack of apology? Yeah, I think more so I was just like, I just want him to know because, yeah. you know. I, but, I, but sometimes you need to process. So, like, you, you probably said a lot yeah. to him. So has he processed I think and then some reacted? space. I think he's needed some space. We spoke a bit, and he was kind of like, um, you know, what he did, it wasn't necessarily defensive, but he was like, my life was hard, so I wasn't sure how to be a good dad. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, and mm-hmm. will we get that apology? No. Do we need it? No, because we know that it will likely never come. But that was big, and I learned a lot about like my grandmas and stuff, and so that was uh, big feelings. And in order to deal with the craziness of my family, mm. I took little trips away. So I went to New York for the first time, yes. and I was like, oh, these are big buildings. Oh, my God, you um, are your own Big Karamo. feelings, big mm. buildings, big yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, and Good I saw you. the big Christmas tree that they, you know, they're always talking about the big Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, you might be ice skating. Underwhelming. Really? Yeah, a bit a bit thin, to be honest. No. I was like, is it global warming? Is it what? COVID? It looked so good on that episode of Dance Moms when they went ice skating there and Maddie cried. Unimpressive. Really? Wow. I'm shocked. Just a, a, it's a big tree. Trees. but Unimpressive. Yeah. So wow. it was a real big thing of like expectations uh, versus reality. I That's think. a lot. And yeah. then, so you went to Texas. Food was good? Food was always good, okay. um, and I grew as a person physically, and that was really nice. Um, and then I went to Ghana, and that was fucking sick. Don't I was following was so Instagram like Sophie Duca, Mary, and I was like, 
so Because girls are living good. life. So this Ema is insane. went on like the cool living, girl trips of comedy to Ghana. Oh my God. It's it, so cute. So how long were you there for? I was there for a month. I was supposed Whoa. to be there for three weeks. And then when I was about to um, check in for my flight to come back to London, I looked at the weather. I looked at my schedule to see what I physically had to do with my body. And mm. I was like, I just have a Zoom meeting over the next week. Like and it's therapy. I don't need to fucking be. No, 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 no. So I stayed an extra week, and it was cute. It was amazing. A cute time. Amazing. I fucked a poet. That was <gasps> weird. Yes. yes. I've never been with a poet. It was too much. I I was dated a poet very one? briefly, but he read lot. me one in a date, and then I just it dried was, up, ooh, and that was it. Yeah. yeah. So Why was it too much? He was very expressive, right? And the whole time I was there, am I gonna bone? I was like, am I gonna bone? Am I gonna bone? So just to, just for context, your father failed you because he was unexpressive but yes. the poet was too expressive. It was too expressive. Men can't win. They can't. I'm, I'm trying to find that middle ground. I'm trying to find the there middle ground. There is a middle ground that is. is not in our world at the moment. I think we have to wait till we're 50. I'm sick of saying it, but he, 50. He said things to me, like, uh, basically, like, he was uh, very talkative while we were, like, fucking. And I feel like, like, six to seven out of ten of the things that he said you like wanted to hear like he was like you're so beautiful yeah. wow you're so pretty yeah, yeah. I love the feeling of your skin but yeah. then he would be like <laughs> he would be like I love the way that your tongue dances in your mouth no I was like, oh, no no, no. Yeah. Okay, I was about to feel no. bad for him because I have been told repeatedly no. to be quiet during sex no, so like don't. you don't have to talk you don't have don't. to talk at at one but point, I would not say shit like that at one point I kid you not, Mm-mm. I kid you not, at one point, while he was in me, he goes, you look like a child. <gasps> what? Yeah, yeah, ah! yeah. And I what? said, and I said, you what the, the fuck? You don't the pedophile, a pedophile. He goes, what the, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, oh, you look like a child. And I said, what? And he goes, no, not like a child. I mean, innocent. And it wasn't better. <gasps> yeah, yeah. So uh. that was the last time I fucked that poet. Obviously. Oh my god. Yeah. Did, can you even come after that? It was wild. Can you come um, after that or do you just I, have to be like you, you don't. No. You don't. No, you I don't. mean it'd be it'd be hard. Yeah. Oh. So after that, I actually pulled out a sex toy that I brought, and I just uh, went ahead and finished yourself yeah, off. Yeah. Because I was like a child. Were you like, what a child do? You think? Yeah. <laughs> what a child. Uh, you don't know. A, you don't know when your kids like got the sucky sucky five thousand. Oh, no, oh my god, you no, look innocent. No. Oh, that's that whole idea yeah. of like a woman has to be super vulnerable with a guy yeah, and be so weak. weird. So weird. God, oh my I'm fucking god. You. Stop trying to hold on to my like virginity Honestly. even as you're inside. Oh, I tell everyone I'm a virgin. But yeah. yeah. They like they it. love it like I'm a virgin but I feel safe with you <laughs> like they love it that's disgusting Sorry, you're where infantilizing does it, yourself where does it go I am uh, <laughs> I'm just put it in my mouth but it's too small oh, I'm just a sexy little baby with a teeny oh, tiny and then I, I say I'm four yeah, yeah they love that they I love that I love it yeah. I my name is Helen so, and I'm four and usually that's how I play it but I was trying to be a grown up with this guy but he saw right through me <laughs> what <laughs> Oh, my old game. You're, <laughs> You're disgusting. You're disgusting. Honestly, sometimes I think like, yeah, I've maybe also it's got time. problems with my dad. He never hugged me. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. You yeah, it. yeah, we got it. Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I've never seen you pause like that before. It's just, Are you having a panic attack? No, it's like sometimes uh-huh. I, I was actually thinking. Sometimes I think, yeah, I could. I could fuck some men now. No. You couldn't do it. <laughs> you tell me those stories. Not that. Not like that. Not that. But it was wild because like, uh, that was the second time that we like bound. And the first time that we bound, right, it was all like, it was like this big passionate energy. And he like got on his knees to eat me out while I was standing. Hog. And I was like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's why I repeated the offense. And the first time that we fucked, he didn't say anything about my childlike nature. That's good. Um, yeah. So that, no, because that time he was the child. A thousand percent. Down on all fours. Oh, hey. my is I this breastfeeding, but with a purse? Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, you got it. Uh-huh. I don't want to do the podcast anymore. <laughs> no, it was too late. It was too late. I, it was, it was too late. I, I quit the podcast. Andrew. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, welcome Deep. to Trusty Hogs with no. Helen and Kima. <laughs> yeah. hey, 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 you got a problem with it? You want Helen and Kima to start with I'll Louis Pope and Catherine? Email us at trustyhogs right at gmail.com. Speaking of, um, uh, one more question about your travels, and then yeah. we'll get to our problem from our okay. guest. Um, what did you do about the week later? So for me, that would stress me out about traveling without mm. having packed appropriately. Now it sounds mm. like you had your sucky sucky two thousand mm. or whatever, so you were mm-hmm, fine. Mm-hmm. But did you not run out of clothes? Laundry. Oh, so, mm-hmm. and what I did was I just like got more stuff when I was there because I didn't have enough warm clothes because the, I don't speak uh, Celsius, but in Fahrenheit, yeah. yeah, it was like 
warmer than London ever becomes. Yeah. So I wasn't prepared to be there in the first place. So yeah. I had to shop while I was there, and okay. I loved it. And I was just wearing all these little dresses and little shorts. Oh my god, just feeling <laughs> my like feminine. Mm, and it was Good. such a vibe. And I was like, oh. I saw pictures of you all at a waterfall, and I was like, that looks beautiful. I vibes. know. Can I vibes. tell you that? Um, I my most one of my more embarrassing social interactions w- was with Kima of I'd say mm. of the entirety of 2021. What? Yeah, so you don't know this, but um, we were both one day on Kilburn High Road, mm. the worst street to be on, to be on ever in life. Um, and also it was during the pandemic, it's all right. and everybody was acting I mean, like no offense to the residents, but you know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you were a resident yeah, at one time. I was a resident, yeah. hence I was, I was there. The yeah, and yeah. so um, so I'm walking along. Everyone's acting like COVID's not happening there. No mm. one's wearing masks. Mm. Um, I was trying to keep my distance from people. They're just like coughing in your ne- in your mouth. Mm, and you're no. like, okay. Well, sometimes that's hot, but sometimes. No, I was having a stressful day. And mm. um, then I saw Kima. Mm. I saw Kima walking along. And honestly, one of the most like, do you ever see somebody and think, I love seeing people in their authentic environment where they don't know yeah. anyone's watching. Yeah, just because, being. Because you were just being and you were just pulling along what I can only describe as a shopping trolley yes. for elderly women. Yes, <gasps> that's my Charlie baby. And I wanted yeah. one so bad. But yeah. I saw you and I, I shouted for you. Mm. Now, I've been told before, when I think I'm shouting, I'm not shouting. Yeah. Apparently, when I think I'm getting the waiter's attention, I tend to say things like, ah. yeah. or like, oh. over here. So yeah. I, that's me shouting, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. But I really tried. You so gave I, it a go. I was like, probably at like, Kima. Mm. But... I was for, for me, you. It was you a were big doing deal. that, yeah. but I was like, I could barely Kima, hear that across. Kima. <laughs> okay, mm, mm. but I then I was like, no, Catherine, she, I hadn't seen anybody mm. in a long time. Yeah, so I, I and you like, were like, you were like, if you left something, set her, set her free. I, no, I was like, I gotta see her. I gotta talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's trapped. Game up. <laughs> you didn't hear, but like. All, because everyone was so close to me that like eight men near me all went Whoa! like basically all at the same time. <laughs> and I was like, but then also we're like clearly knew who I was shouting to because I was looking mm. directly at you. But mm. but they were just so embarrassed for me. And then no, I, help and I just to be em- having other people embarrassed for you on Kilburn High Road mm. is like I mean all I can. By the way, have you ever noticed Kilburn High Road? My brother pointed this out to me. Now I can't mm. unsee it. It's like eighty percent crutches. A lot of people uh, seem to be uh, in hurt. Wait, sorry, yeah. one second. <laughs> is that the end of the? Is that your like one of your biggest social faux pas of 2021? Is was it, saying Kima slightly moment. loudly on the street. It's no, I was shouting moment. for Kima, and, and then no, but everybody else heard except Kima. And that was like one of the standout moments of last year that of was embarrassing for you. In your life, pretty I good have you. life <laughs> worse than that in the last pretty four good days. You. I was backstage with a comic, his phone rang, and I was being bawdy, and I was like, oh, can't answer your phone backstage, because it was running to the stage, and I went, oh, you better fire him to the promoter, and he went, it's my mum, she just had a stroke. (gasps) On the same evening, I was then outside with another comic, and I went, oh, did you find somewhere? I know you were looking for somewhere to live. She was clearly with her current housemate, and went, no, 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 I'm not looking, because I love where we live, and gave me the eyes. (gasps) Within within an hour of but each Kima other. But didn't even turn around. Don't, I'm not even, I can't, <laughs> don't give me sad eyes. You, that's the world you live in. Right, let's have a fucking problem because I'm about to lose my mind. Yeah. I'm sorry Kima didn't turn around and wave at you on the street. I was probably listening to my jams, baby. <laughs> you probably were. Yeah. And I really want to know where you got your, your old my lady. My shopping thing. trolley. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? Um, I just assume they only sold them to, to like a specific no, elderly well, shop. No, Emma Black's got one with flamingos on it. She loves it. The oh. reason why I have it is because I come from like car culture in Texas where you have to yeah. drive for everything. Yeah. So the idea of only having as many groceries as I can carry disgusts mm. me. Me too. Oh my God. Yes. Thank That's you. why I have it. I'm like roll it around. And sometimes people look at me like, bitch, are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I'm going to make this hot. It's yeah. going to be great. You did. I wanted to know where you got it from. Hence it up. pulling at you. I put all the stuff in there. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can put so much stuff in there. I love Where'd it. Where'd you buy it, though? Uh, you can get it from the little shops. and uh, All of the tat shops, on yeah. The, on the high road, and they'll be like, we have suitcases, we have these shopping trolleys, and what you're going to want to do is make sure that the wheels are sturdy, okay? Because oh, sometimes they have, a little, they have ones where they'll be like, oh, and I got mine, I spent 30 pounds on it, I was like, this is an investment in my future. Yeah, and it has basically nice, a car. Sturdy wheels with some good like tread on them, and we've been rocking and rolling. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know what? I ultimately got the conversation I needed to have. Yeah. So the universe solved. I'm glad everyone's happy. It's I'm true. livid. It's Thank true. you. Wow, we are blessed. 
let's, let's see do this a problem. problem. Yeah, great. By the way, I feel like so emotionally equipped to hear this problem this week because yeah. Kima just went to Texas and read her unemotional folder of all of her feelings She's in like, her life. I was literally like, let's go. I was like, when I was young, when I was in college, now as an adult, it was fucking. I yeah. once cried in front paragraph. of my dad and he patted yeah. me like a dog. It was several pages. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's the same emotion sort of level, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh no, no, no wet oh, face. No, no uh, wet face. It made uh, wet face. I don't know what to do. Uh, with that. Shall we call a woman? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God. All right, we're ready for this problem. Yes, this is from RN. 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 Right say. now. <laughs> yes, right now. Uh, firstly, I want to say I love the podcast. Thank you, RN. Thank Aww. you. Aww. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. Uh, I was wondering if you had some advice on a strange issue I'm having recently. Love Already a strange strange issue. Mm-hmm. Intrigue. A, strange issue. Uh, a few months before Christmas, I started seeing this guy. I introduced him to all my friends. Hang on one he... second. Sorry. Do we know the gender of RN? Uh, it is an, uh, I, I think it's uh, a man, but it's a, a gender neutral name. Fine. Mm. But mm. I, okay, I lean so towards ma'am. Be- mm. Before Christmas, they started dating this man. Uh, seeing. I don't know whether seeing. that makes a difference to that. Mm. The... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I introduced well, I him. I saw Kima on Kilburn High Road. But we didn't fuck. You but she I mean? didn't see you. Um, wow. Oh, wow. I, wow. I have so much respect for you right now, Andrew. Fire. Honestly, like, just, it was hot. It was fucking hot. Okay, so RN was being seen by and seeing yes, a man. Yeah. Uh, I introduced him to all my friends because we all drink in the same places, so it kept going on nights out together. Mm. Things didn't start out great, and I quickly realized the only time he'd speak to me or wanted to be around me was when drinking or doing cocaine. I decided uh. after Christmas I would address this issue and ask if we could just be friends, as over the few months we'd known each other, um, him, me, and another friend had gotten close and become our own little group. Huh. Now that I've taken a step back and said I don't want to be drinking all the time and I don't want to do drugs, I feel very excluded by them both because they mm. meet up all the time without me. Mm. They both said they were more than happy to meet up and do other things, but this has only happened once and still ended uh, turning out uh, turning into a night out and drugs being involved. Mm. I feel like I've not only lost out on a potential relationship, but no, now also two friendships as well. But they're not good relationships and friendships. It might mm. feel like you've lost something, but they're people that doing things that you don't want to do. Yeah. And yeah. just because you spent time with them doesn't mean that there is a solid friendship there. Because if they don't yeah. want to do the things that you now want to do, then sometimes you move on. Like you know? maybe like get you uh, a, a lover who's not uh, addicted to cocaine. It's a big call. It's a big yeah. call, but it's a. Yeah. I think it's an interesting one. Yeah. It reminds me of me when I was fair can. Yeah, when yeah, I yeah. was four, <laughs> RN. I was in a group called Tumble Tots, where we were all like babies, <laughs> and we'd go to this soft play in the Harlington Centre and just like wriggle around together. Oh, this is going to become. Our I turned six. And it was time to leave Tumble Tots. Uh-oh. But by the time I was leaving Tumble Tots, yeah. the new group of Tots came in and they started tumbling together. Now I was friendly with them. Yeah. But it was time for you me to go to school. Them. I was I was too big for soft play. Yeah. You know, sure it goes up to eight, but I was a big lass. You yeah. know, yeah. and I had to leave the tots behind. Now they were friends of mine, but they, all they wanted to do was tumble and tot about. Yeah, I wasn't tumbling and totting anymore. You moved on. It was time to learn the alphabet. Yeah, yeah at and six, I moved at on. Six. You were only going to yeah. learn the alphabet at six. Maybe seven mm. then. No, mm. oh, that's not what I meant. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't spend your life tumble totting, and I feel yeah. like that is in many ways a metaphor for coke. It's a bummer as well because I think when you when you form relationships with people under certain circumstances and then you go, hold on, these aren't going to work. Like mm-hmm. me, you smoke a shit ton of weed. Now, don't. Well done. And luckily, my friends they used to smoke a shit ton of weed with are also kind of evolving out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? You all evolve at the same time. Yeah, but I would have had to, uh, you know, leave them behind or, you know. So it's one of those things where uh, you got to move on and sometimes not everyone's coming with you and that's okay. And, like, sorry that you want to, like, fuck that person, but, like, they're not the love of your life. You will find better people. I feel like that's the main thing to say here. The other thing I would say is I've given up alcohol this year and Mm. um, there's been, like, one of two reactions. Either people have been, like, aghast Mm. that they would have to spend time in my presence while I am myself. Mm. Mm. So they're like, oh, but what about my birthday? And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'd love to come. And they're like, as you? Mm. (laughs) Yeah. Mm. Mm. For for the whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're you're going to be like that the whole time. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. Um, Which I think says more about what they need from me in terms of like, they want to feel like it's okay that they drink. So the one thing I'd say is like, do make sure that 
you have there will be there will be people around you who still want to go out and hang out with you even if you don't yeah. drink. I have not found that to be an issue, but I also would say like what people are saying is like but are you judging me is it a judgment call on the stuff uh, and like uh. and i think that comes from a, a uh, an insecure place mm -hmm. uh, but i also think it's okay to reassure them what i mean by that is there is a scenario where these people do want to be your friend but they feel like you they're they feel judged where maybe and they're judging themselves yeah and um and there's space to make it clear that you don't judge them without that necessarily having to be overt. But also we make sure that you yourself include yourself. So like I've gotten really this might be so I gotta sound like such a hundred year old woman, mm. but like I really make a point of trying to like suggest we go places where I can get a, a fake nice cocktail. cocktail. Yeah. yeah, I love a yeah. cocktail. Yeah, but good. I, but I feel like and I like and I stay out and I have fun and I have you know like because mm -hmm. then. I, I don't feel like, and as soon as people see that, they're like, oh, cool. Oh, fine. Now, yeah. I will say, if you yourself are trying not to do cocaine and other people around you are doing cocaine, bounce, 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 because that's so hard. It's mm -hmm. so hard. There's no like. It's a different headspace. And yeah. like, everybody's like, I'm still going. And you're like, I could go to bed. Yeah. And I'm hungry. The chat is I'm hungry. The yeah. chat, and the yeah. chat is awful. Oh, yeah. God. But I do. I think we're literally all just like being like, cut it off, right? Well, I think it's a, a thing of, like, as far as romance, those are two different spaces. I think friendship and romance, those are different mm -hmm. birds, right? Mm -hmm. Where you can have friends that do things that, like, you don't want to necessarily engage with and you can still, like, be there for them or love them or whatever. But I think as far as, like, someone that you want to be in a serious relationship with, yeah, I think that's a, that's a bit of a different bird. I agree. And I, I would say I do think... Make sure that like you have assessed so that, so that you don't look back on it with regret. Make sure you've assessed. Have you put yourself in positions where they know that you're not judging them and that you can still go out with them if you if that's what you want and have mm -hmm. not so like not so many alcoholic drinks? Or have you also suggested that you meet up and do other things? Because you said it's only happened once, but have you um, put in the put effort. In effort and made yeah. made offers? That's a if really good idea. Have, suggest bowling, go karting, yeah. ice skating, a museum. Exactly. Yeah. And Who's if you doing coke in the Imperial War Museum? Well, I mean, if you turn around and you catch someone doing a little sniff sniff in the, in the, in the Imperial War Museum and then while they're doing yeah. that um, then you know that that's a problem but yeah give them a chance yeah and then because then, then you can look back <gasps> and go okay it's Titanic right. exhibit that's happening at the moment isn't it wow. near Surrey Keys yeah and if, if that doesn't work then you know nah I tried and you really did try in that context in which case they're lost mm -hmm. I think forget the nights out forget these guys go Ghana Go to Ghana. I'd say go Ghana. Go to Ghana. And also just like think of your septum. Just really give it a little pat yeah. there and say, isn't it? That's nice in I the uh, middle of yeah. the bones, isn't it? And then yeah. it falls out eventually, right? It can do. It can be yeah, really, really nice damaging. that it's not deviated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's it's, just get it together. Well, yeah. how far up does it fall out from? Is it like all the way at the top? You can like burn a hole in there. You can. So you can burn like a hole that goes hole. up to your brain. It's just bad. So you just have like one nostril. Not dry. That's tough though, like moving on from like the ways that you've known for so long. It's and really then hard. people are like, Who are you? And you're like, I'm still me. Mm. I'm still me. I'm still me. Do you believe me? <laughs> I believe you. Do you believe me? <laughs> no, but it's true. Or find religion. There's a fun one. Oh, there's yeah. a cliche, bit of fun. Get mm. super religious and judge them. Be like, you are, you're breaking the Lord's yeah. word by getting into this. And then it won't feel like they're rejecting you because you're rejecting Being them. Because yeah. you're not part of, um, what are the Mormons? What, what are the Jesus's army? What yeah, are they? the Latter-day Saints. The Latter-day Saints. Nice. You're now part of a Latter-day Saint community. Something yeah. to think about. And also you get to go on a trip in a with a yeah. with a pairing where you get to convert people. Yeah. Fun, yeah, you Mission always have trip. a you always have a buddy as a Mormon. That's yeah. nice. People don't talk about that enough. We get a lot of people writing and asking about how they can make friends. We haven't religion. done religion enough, but seriously, yeah. Yeah. you'll find your people. Yeah. Oh, who's really close? The Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now they have yeah. each other's backs. Because they they're do all against thick anything. And thin, <laughs> through thick uh, and thin. Uh, uh, they will uh, be there for uh, each uh, other. Uh, you want uh, friends? Uh, Westboro, Get where are they? There. Somewhere in Kansas, I think they are. Yeah. Oh wow. my god! God, we, oh, I've never thought about suggesting that before. That's mad that I took that's that long. That's great advice. Together. That's so yeah. Funny. That's solid the advice. Family. Mostly. They're always looking for lawyers and people to hold up signs, mm. aren't they? Mm. What's that great one where they sing that song like "Hello, Hello, Sinner"? Do, 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 do. Oh my God, like a remix of Telephone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To try and like get people <laughs> to like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. And they're awful. They pick it like funerals and they hold up these really offensive right. signs. We know right. what the signs. And then they started like Ooh. singing songs. Incredible! Gross. Wow, but also but exciting. They've always got someone there at the end yeah. of the day. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah. Kimo, what good advice. What good advice. Thank you wow. so much for doing our podcast. Thank you for having me. It's been a joy. Kimo Bob. Yeah. 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 Bob, what can, where can people find you? Um, on the, the on the internet. Have yeah. you have you been there before? Twitter? Dark Place. Twice Kima last Bob? night. Yeah, at Kima Bob. Insta Grizzle at Kima Bob. Right. Just uh, uh, being just being there. And a question: Do they have? Do, is there any shows they can come see? You do? Um, Are you doing Edinburgh? No. Uh, no, I refuse. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm supporting Nish Kumar on tour. A little there. eye rolled about. Cool. Nice. Um, um, uh, yeah. That's that's it really. Just existing. I don't know. I don't know who Just I am. Just follow Kima. I'm doing. She'll announce we can we do can, shows can this live later. later. But are you doing Edinburgh? No. No. Okay. Great. Good for you. Good mm. for you. Full respect Good for, for that. you. We're both going for Despera. Oh, I'll come up and hang out. And yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'll come play, but That'd I just be amazing. I don't have a show in me. Yeah, but you don't have to have one. It's not the biggest deal anymore. Right. Like it really isn't. Thing. It's still changed. I like the, the idea change. of people being like, this is what you got to do, and me being like, is it? Yes. We're both like, yeah, we totally love that idea, but also we will do Why it. didn't we have this idea like I four know, months ago, honestly. though? Because I'm just like fucking embarrassed for us. It does seem like mm, way no. fewer people than I thought were going would, are, would go we and go. We need to get our fucking mm. lives together. We kind of need to. Mm. Wow. No, but maybe you do have your life together because you're in a productive moment of creating a thing and producing a thing and putting on a thing, and then you can use that thing to do stuff with. So that's great. Like, that's awesome. You're lying to us, but it I really like, like mm. it. Mm. No. Okay. I'm just tired from being a jet setter who fucked a poet. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up! I'm, I'm so young while she does it. So yes, young. Yes. Keep child. up, Bob, everybody. Thank you. We so appreciate the support. Please help us keep the podcast going. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much to our exec producers, Guy Goodman, Simon Moores, Ganina Bautista, and Mary Fox. We are so thank grateful. You are amazing. And thank you also to our wonderful producers, oh, yes. Melissa Dunkeld, Harrod Duke, Sarah and Molly, Aideen McQueen, Caitlin Lift, Joe Holmes, mm-hmm. Zoe, Kim Doyle, Lee Myers Cough. Is that how I say it? Yeah, that's it. Rachel R, David Walker, Tim and Dom, Kira Leach, S Dubs, L, Richard Ball, Sadie Cashmore, Neil Redmond, Claire Owen Jones, Jeff and Nick, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton, Anthony Conway, Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke. We're so grateful. Watching that list grow it's so nice. makes me feel like it's Valentine's Day every day. Oh, behave yourself in that she is almost coming, but not quite. Oh my God, it's all happening so fast. <laughs>